Well, good morning. This morning we read from Romans chapter 2, verses 1 to 16. Taken in isolation, this can be a problematic passage for evangelicals who will take the verses from um, the, the chapter before, the just shall live by faith, and verses from later, that the salvation is the gift of God, because in this passage, it suggests that God judges and re, and uh, rewards people or punishes them by their works. Those who obey the law, whether they've heard the law or not, um, are justified before God. God doesn't show favoritism. God gives glory, honor, and peace for everyone who does good. Not who believes the right things, but who does good. So for Christians, here's what we take out of this, that our faith must result in actions. Even Paul is saying it here. And then the second part of this is that the law, the important parts of the law, are written in every human being's conscience. Now, some will say, well, hang on a minute. Um, my conscience has never told me not to eat certain things until I read it in God's law. But your conscience does tell you to look and honour your creator. And your conscience does tell you to love your neighbour and to care for those around you. So here is where the law hangs. The, the, the important parts of the law are how you treat other people and how you show respect to God. And that law is written on the conscience of every person. Now, we all see uh, and we all know that even though that law is written on our conscience, sometimes we have broken it. And so we'll come to that later in the gospel. But here God is saying that no one has got an excuse whether you receive the law or not. All of us know what God requires. He requires us to act with justice, to love mercy, to care for others and to seek his face. This morning we will make sure through today that we do that. As saved people, we will make sure that our salvation is seen in the way that we live. The Lord bless you. Amen.